Hello everyone, this is Trekkie 1701C, and this is FS Port. Let's go ahead and continue our playthrough. Terran Command has confirmed the existence of a new species. So gone from, from the Nile to confir confirmation in one mission. Them Shivans. The Shivans have inflicted heavy casualties to both Terran and Vasudan forces in the Beta Cygni and Vega systems. You know, maybe they if they'd acknowledge the existence of these guys, uh, along the wouldn't Terran have had uh, tons of losses lost here. With our forces in the IKEA and Ross 128 systems. The Vasudan government has contacted the GTA and proposed a ceasefire. So it looks like the war against the students is over now, uh, or at least it's about to be over, and uh, we're going to just be fighting the Sheevans. Expect to hear more from Terran Command on this um, later today. So basically, the whole thing has All turned into a huge a serious uh, clusterfuck. You are authorized to engage any Sheevan ship that stands in the way of your mission objectives. Attempts to establish communication with the Sheevans have failed. Intelligence will continue its attempts to learn more about this new adversary. What little information has been learned about Shivan technology concerns their fighter shielding system. The shield system makes them nearly impervious to our ML-16 laser. R&D is currently not completely impervious, as we saw in the last mission where I managed to shoot down a fighter after about two hours. Target their ships due to our lack of data regarding the Shivan electronic systems. Plans are currently underway to remedy this situation. And guess who they're going to have remedy it? Terran Intelligence is working around the clock to give us more information. Until then, we have been ordered to move into the Beta Cygni system and monitor any activity. Oh good, so we're going after the aliens. Due to increased encounters with Shivan forces, Terran Command has ordered the Galatea to the Beta Cygni system to monitor Shivan activity. The Galatea has taken quite a beating since her last repair. There isn't time to follow the safest route. The Antares Beta Cygni jump node. Oh, good. So another really dense asteroid field, field and uh, the least used jump nodes in the galaxy. Standard procedure would have us circumvent this node completely, requiring two jumps. Now we have no choice. Weapon systems have taken damage from enemy bombers. Galatea should be able to make it through the asteroid field, but Alpha Wing will be deployed to destroy approaching asteroids. So they're sending a half crippled ship in to uh, and destroy any deal with this situation. Because, you know, I guess there's no other ship available the even though uh, marked by white targeting brackets. Destroy these they have tons first. of these destroyers. Well, not tons, but they have a considerable Once number. Once the Galatea has jumped out, you are to report to the GTD Bastion stationed in Antares. The Bastion will take you to Ikea. See, there's the Bastion mission. within a uh, jump range. Your rendezvous with the Galatea and Beta Cygni upon completion of that mission. In the event of enemy attack, you are to cover the Galatea's escape from the system at any cost. So let's see what we have here. Uh... I'm going to go with the Valkyrie again, because I like the maneuverability on it. And I'm going to keep with the ML-16s, and I am going to actually switch out to the Tempests, and uh, do the same for my wingman here. Uh, actually, it looks like he already had the... Uh, actually, these are MX-50s, the Free Space 2 version, it's called the Tempest, but it's uh, just a simple dumb fire missile, which uh, should be a lot better for this mission since we're just going to be destroying asteroids. Asteroids on the collision path with the Galatea will be auto-targeted with white brackets on your HUD. Well, that's good to know, Alpha 2. I guess that's why they put me in charge of this wing, because I don't know anything. I gotta fly, apparently. So let's just uh, shoot asteroids for a little while. And uh, make sure the Galatea does not get hit. It's got a nice little beautiful boxy shape here. Let's just uh, see. Looks like there's no real danger at all. I mean, the ship's not taking any damage. Notice it's at 100% hull integrity, which. Uh, 
I thought it had taken damage at some point, but uh, apparently the reason was wrong. And it's taking no damage, which explains exactly why we have to go through this whole thing. Got another asteroid on the side here, so let's take this out. I like how the asteroids just kind of nicely explode under laser fire when, uh, in reality, you probably just punch a hole through them, if anything. Fuck yourself, Alpha 2. There's not really any danger from these asteroids here. I mean, they are not... They're not getting anywhere close to the ship. Plus, given that we have, uh, like, multiple warhead missiles nowadays, it just makes me wonder why, uh... You know, the Galate couldn't have just launched, like, a bunch of really high-explosive missiles into here and just blown the entire asteroid field to bits, since, uh, we apparently don't have to worry about debris since these things get vaporized. Oh, well, that's a little bit too close for comfort. Let's take out another asteroid here. I think that might be all this mission is, is just blowing up asteroids repeatedly until the ship gets close to the jump node. Check that out. Also like how they could only assign two fighters to this task even though it's like uh, apparently so hard to do that they were worried about it and that they don't normally do this. I think the real world explanation for this is uh, at the time there's uh, you know there's sprite limitations to what you can do or maybe not sprite limitations but still object limitations to what can be done and I think having this asteroid field uh, as big as it is because it's actually bigger than the one we saw earlier from the looks of it I think that might have actually exceeded the capabilities of the original uh, engine or at least most computers that were available at the time for uh, people to play but nowadays it's just uh, easy. And we're seeing in Free Space 2 that there's a mission fairly similar to this where you have to defend a pair of capital ships from an asteroid field and uh, you have a significant number of fighters and other ships. Well, uh, Alpha 2 apparently sucks at flying, so I'm gonna have to do this solo now. And now the Galate is taking damage. So it does sound like it's actually firing, so, uh, I guess they lied about the weapon system damage as well. Because it is apparently doing something on its own. So let's go ahead and just take the asteroids all the way out. Yeah, it looks like it's right about on the node. So I think we might be about done here. Yeah, it's at 99%, so it's not a huge issue. Let's go ahead and take this out. We've detected two Sheevan bombers! Okay. That's great. Where are they? Right there. They're in here somewhere, so let's see if I can't uh, close in on them and take them out. Still don't quite see them. No, that's an asteroid. These asteroids are messing with me here now, because I can't. I'm used to uh, enemy ships are auto-targeting. There we go. There they are. Flew right by me and I didn't even see it. Let's take this one out really quick. And I like how they detected them enough to know exactly what they were, but can't, we can't detect them enough for me to get any sort of a targeting lock or any sort of uh, information about them. Deployed. Okay, 
I think he's dead. Where's the other bomber? Right down there. They're not doing a heck of a lot of damage for, uh... Okay, that might be a problem right there. I think that's the bomb there. Yeah, that was. Now I just need to figure out where this guy went. There he is. Take him down, and I'm out of missiles completely. So, uh... Galate is jumping out. Great to know that the Sheevans could go and deal with a whole two bombers to go and try and deal with this. And they're such a big threat that uh, couldn't do anything. Okay, and that did a lot of damage right there, so uh, let's go ahead and jump out and finish the mission. Rearming sequence aborted. Welcome to the GTD Bastion. And I got a mission, uh, another medal for Galatea. apparently She's getting a ton of hull damage. Which thanks you for the skillful escort through the field. Just because I crashed into things. We rendezvous with her in the Beta Cygnus system soon. We are currently underway to the IKEA system for your next mission. For your excellence in destroying the I believe the IKEA was fireball, the other system that these people were pouring well in through. So uh, in the we're going to, we are you the I guess, deal with them a little bit more. Wear it proudly. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. Please uh, subscribe and leave me a comment.